Hello and welcome to this lesson on abstract nouns. We're going to be looking at what an abstract noun is and we're going to be thinking about why they are important to use in our writing. So first of all, let's start with what is a noun. Now I'm sure that most of you will know that a noun is a person, place or thing slash object. So examples include Robert, so that's the name of a person, France, the name of a country, and house, so that is obviously the name of an object. Now these particular nouns are called concrete nouns because they are tangible things, things with which we can physically interact. Now an abstract noun refers to something with which you cannot physically interact. So you, you may not be able to see it, you may not be able to smell it, taste it, touch it. They refer to an aspect, a concept, an idea, an experience, a state of being, a trait, a quality, feeling or other entity that cannot be experienced with the five senses. So it's things that are not tangible. So examples of some abstract nouns are things like emotions or feelings. So love, hate, anger and pride, they are all nouns, but they are things with which we cannot physically interact. So they are abstract nouns. We've got states and attributes. So beauty, brilliance, tenacity. So those things that we comment about people in particular. So the attributes that people have, um, they are all abstract nouns. Uh, movements or events, things like education, leisure or hospitality, and ideas and concepts, so to dream or to have knowledge, they are all abstract nouns. So they are things, they are nouns, but they are things that we cannot physically interact with. So why should we use abstract nouns in our writing? Well, good writers often use them in in the place of adjectives to create more vivid images in their writing and you may want to do this in any of your creative writing pieces. Now if you're studying the AQA syllabus then you would use creative writing in your controlled assessments. Um, for the WJEC syllabus then you will have to creative write within the exam so there'll be loads of occasions that you will have to do a piece of creative writing. Also if you're doing a writing to describe task then using abstract nouns makes your image the picture of what you're describing more vivid and more real. Okay, so for example let's look at the difference between the two sentences at the bottom and I want you to think about which one is more um, vivid and imaginative? Which one creates a better image in the reader's mind? So we've got, he was lonely, or loneliness was his only companion. And then we've got, she was scared, fear held her frozen to the spot. So we've got those images created of loneliness being his only friend, his only companion. So it actually creates a much more vivid and imaginative um, image in the reader's mind. It's much more effective than just saying he was lonely. So it's definitely worth thinking about how you can use abstract nouns within your writing to make it more effective. So what I want you to have a go at is looking at these sentences below and I want you to make these sentences more interested more interesting rather by using abstract nouns. So we've got I struck a match but it went out. I felt nauseous as I edged closer to the start of the queue. Sean had finally gained top marks. Matthew felt unbelievably disappointed at having failed his exam. So if you want to make it easy for yourself, think about the feelings or emotions that the characters within that sentence would have and take that feeling and use that as your abstract noun to make these sentences more interesting. Now, if you want to pause the video now, have a go at those sentences and then restart the video and I will give you some examples of how we've used abstract nouns to make these sentences more interesting. Okay, so what I did was I looked at those four sentences and I thought, oh, which feelings and emotions can I use within these sentences to make them more interesting? So I thought about despair and desperation. Now, they are both abstract nouns. They are emotions 
that the character would feel. And I put despair and desperation washed over me as I watched my final match fizzle and die out. Darkness was my new friend. So we've got the word darkness as well as your abstract noun. Darkness was my new friend. Then I've got nausea, which is a feeling. Nausea gripped my insides and turned my stomach upside down. So we've got nausea as the abstract noun, so the feeling that that character felt. We've got Sean was bursting with pride as he glanced down the list. So we know that pride is an abstract noun because it's a, a feeling that Sean is having. His brilliance and flair had finally been recognised. So brilliance and flair are also abstract nouns. They are attributes that Sean has. And then the last one, I put disappointment was drawn all over his face. There was no denying it. Failure had won. So we've got disappointment as the abstract noun and we've also got failure there. So they are things, they are feelings that that character's having um, and it just makes it more interesting than those sentences that we had before. So let's have a look back at those sentences. I struck a match but it went out goes to despair and desperation washed over me as I watched my final match fizzle and die out. Darkness was my new friend. So we've also got the use of metaphors within those sentences to make that writing more creative. Okay, so there are lots of other videos on my channel. It's worth having a look through all of those. Lots of videos on writing skills, lots of videos on reading skills for the AQA, GCSE, English and English language papers. So have a look through all of those. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as I will be adding videos all the time. You can also head over to my website aceyourexams.wordpress.com for lots of handy free downloads and you can follow me on Twitter at aceyourexams. Thanks for listening.